Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves gets a decisive win in this runoff election for Republican nominee for governor. And now he looks towards the fall and a race against Jim Hood. And I am just so grateful uh, to have earned uh, the support of so many Mississippians. And I look forward to getting back started tomorrow morning and, and earning the support of even more. And so there will be a very stark contrast in this general election. Uh, and, and I look forward to having that conversation um, because I believe in my heart that Mississippians are conservative and they're going to elect a conservative governor in, in our state. The reality is the people all across our state uh, in virtually every county were going door to door. They were knocking on doors. They were calling their friends and their neighbors. And we had a huge vote in every region of the state. And I am very thankful uh, for our volunteers. They did great work. And we're going to continue to spread our message that Mississippi is a conservative state that needs to elect a conservative governor. Reeve thanks supporters and volunteers. He says their hard work is what got him this victory against Bill Waller Jr. And he says that kind of work will happen again in the fall. He says no one will work harder than he will to become the next governor of Mississippi. From the Westin in Jackson, Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News. Now, while Waller may have lost the race, he says he's glad of what his campaign was able to accomplish. And I'm also glad we're able to elevate some issues that are important to the people of Mississippi. So uh, all, all in all, I think that uh, we made some progress. So I, I don't look at it as a wasted effort at all. I think that uh, a majority of the people of Mississippi are going to embrace these issues. And I'm, I'm hopeful that new leadership in the Senate, some new House members, uh, I think we'll be able to address some of the very issues I campaigned on. 16 WPT's Marcus Hunter is in the newsroom with reaction from the Democratic nominee for governor. Yeah, Aaron, uh, so Democratic nominee Jim Hood will take on a Republican Tate Reeves for the governor's seat. Dozens of Hood supporters came out during last night's runoff to put together his campaign signs as he continues to campaign for the general election. The attorney general says as governor, he will look out for the average citizen and plans to make real changes in areas like education, infrastructure, Structure and health care. I fought for working people and fought for those people who can't fight for themselves for 16 years as AG, eight as DA, and uh, five as an assistant AG. Now, Hood won the Democratic primary with 69% of the votes. If he wins the general election, it will make him the state's first Democratic governor since Ronnie Musgrove was elected in 2000. The general election is on November 5th.